My name is Martha Kelpie. I'm an ASEC certified sex therapist and supervisor. And I want to talk today about how you would think about your relationship in a way that could actually lead to some meaningful change. So as a relationship therapist, very often clients come to me and it's perfectly understandable that they would um, quite focused on what they're unhappy about in their relationship and specifically what they're unhappy with their partner about in their relationship. So the idea there is if only my partner would change in these ways, I would be happy and our relationship would be good. The problem with that perspective is it doesn't actually set up any kind of a change environment that's going to be effective. So rethinking that stance is the absolutely most effective thing that you can do to set your relationship therapy, counseling, or coaching up for success. So this is what I would recommend that you do. And this exercise comes directly from Peter Pearson and Ellen Bader, who um, are the founders of the developmental model of couples therapy, which is the primary model that I practice. So the question I want you to ask yourself is, what kind of a relationship do I want to create? Ask yourself that. So when you're thinking about that, what kind of relationship do I want to create? I want to think about what would I feel like? I would look forward to coming home. So imagine yourself, you're looking forward to coming home, you're excited to get home, you're excited to come in the door and see your partner. What does it feel like? What does it look like? If you were watching the movie, how would it be unfolding? The relationship that you wanna create. And I wanna really stress that you are an active creator and an active participant in the kind of relationship that you have. Yes, you have choices that you make a million of them every single day about how you respond or react, how you engage or disengage, how you connect or disconnect, and you're in charge of your part of that. Now, I'm not saying your partner's perfect. Your partner is probably not perfect. Um, and they have things that they can change about themselves too. But the problem is the only person that I can change is myself. So if I think that my happiness is dependent upon my partner changing, I'm sort of dooming myself to wait around, you know, when is my partner gonna get around to the change that I want? And that is just not an effective way to tackle your own happiness project. So what kind of relationship do you wanna create? And then I want you to ask yourself, in the relationship that I wanna create, how am I showing up? So if you are watching a movie of the relationship that you wanna be in, what would you be doing? How would you be responding? How would you be um, interacting? How would you be connecting with your partner, with yourself, maybe with your kids, with your home, with your family? What is that relationship? What does it feel like? And who are you in it? And now the rubber is going to meet the road a little bit because my third question for you is how far are you from being that person right now? This is such an important question to ask yourself because again, the you happiness project depends upon it. It depends upon you figuring out how you want to be and how you can show up differently in your relationship and then start making moves towards being more the person that you wanna be in your relationship. It's gonna change your relationship, I swear to you. And if it doesn't, if your partner is just a, a complete disaster, you can always decide to leave them later on down the road. But until you have made the changes that you can make to be the person that you wanna be in your relationship, you really can't blame it on your partner or you can't blame it entirely on your partner, or what we have is a relationship system where you and your partner are reading each other constantly. So have you ever noticed many times every single day, you probably look at your partner and you read them. Is my partner having a good day, a bad day? Am I in trouble? Does my partner love me? Is my partner into me? Is my partner mad at me? You're like, check, check, checking. And we do that all the time 
we do it completely subconsciously. And then we respond or react to whatever it is that we're perceiving. If what we're imagining or perceiving seems to be negative or we imagine it might be negative, we tend to respond or react negatively. And then this bounces between us. So while you're reading your partner, your partner may be reading you as well. And pretty soon you have a downward spiral where both of you are contributing to a downward uh, vibe between the two of you. And what I wanna let you know is you could actually create an upward vibe between the two of you. Your partner may or may not go along for the ride, but you can do your part in showing up the way that you wanna show up in your relationship. So I'm gonna recap these three questions for you because they're super important. Uh, what kind of a relationship do I wanna create? What is the relationship that I wanna be in? And then second question, how am I showing up in that relationship? Who am I in the relationship I wanna have? And third question, how far am I from that now? Ask yourself these questions and start to get yourself positioned to be able to make change in an effective way. And in my next vlog, I'm going to talk about how you would actually uh, come up with some action steps there that would be meaningful. But this is the first step. The first step is envisioning the positive thing that you want to move towards rather than obsessing about the negative thing you might have now. Envision the positive thing. Get clear on who you are in that positive thing. And then figure out how far you are away from that now. Be honest. All right. And um, thanks for your hard work. This is going to make a difference. And I will be back soon to talk about goals.